Hello everyone. Today we want to be working with the cumulative frequency curve or another name for it is Ogai, right? So if any question or any problem would be asking you to draw or construct a cumulative frequency curve or the Ogai, both of them mean the same thing. Um, right here I have a table where you have weights of 21 between 21 to 29 30 to 38 39 to 47 48 to 56 57 to 65 66 to 74 74 to 83 and then 84 to 92 right and then what we're doing here um we it is just a simple survey where um, students were asked their weight in kilograms right and then because of the amount of students um, we could not put how many students got a uh, weight of 51 how many got a weight of 52 so we decided to join it and did a, uh, a group frequency table right group frequency table because in this case we have groups right and then um we gathered the amount of students that fall within 21 kilograms to 29 kilograms right which is a width of 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 so it's going to be a group of nine based on the information gathered we collected that there were 16 students with weights 21 to 29 right so there are weight files within that one there was 26 students where their weight was 30 to 38 Right? So one of those, and then we had 34 students had a weight of 39 to 47. We had 34 students with weights 48 to 56 kilograms. We had 40 students with 57 to 65 kilograms. Right? 24 students where their weight falls from 66 to 74 we have 12 and then 4 students where their weight falls from 84 to 92 kilograms right so that is what we have and then the first question is to construct so let's take a look at what we are going to do first thing we want to do is to complete the cumulative frequency table now what is the cumulative frequency table is on we need to include the last column which is the cumulative frequency and then what I like to do beside it is put the points the point is what is going to help me with the second question which will be draw a cumulative frequency curve or the O guys, right? So the points that we're going to be putting here on the side is going to help us to draw the cumulative frequency curve. So let's proceed by finding what is the cumulative frequency. The cumulative frequency is the addition of the frequency or the students, number of students in this case. Um, what is it telling you? It is telling you how many students have a weight 29 or less 29 kilograms or less we have it is 16 students right so the first one remains the same as 16 because there are 16 students who have a weight 29 or less right the next one says how many students have a weight of 38 or less now notice that students that have a weight 38 or less 
is going to be 26 students plus the previous amount of students because students having 29 kilograms is less than 38 so what we need to do is the cumulative frequency is going to be now this plus this that's going to be 30 42 right so we have 42 students that have a weight 38 or less so how many students have a weight 47 or less that is going to be 34 students that fall within the range 39 to 47 and then 26 students for group here and then 16 for this group here so if we add those three we get it is 76 so we have 76 students having 20, 47 kilograms or less now you see what's going to happen for the rest the next one is going to be how many students have a weight 56 or less so that's going to be 56 or less that's going to be one more number added to it which is going to be 44 so 44 plus this one we get it is 120 next thing that we have is how many students have a weight less than 65 kilograms that is going to be 40 more students added to the total that we had here so that's going to be 160 students right the next one how many students have a weight less than 74 kilograms that is going to be 24 more added to this one which is going to be 184 and then how many students have 83 kilograms or less again that's 12 more that is going to be 196 and then the last one is how many students have 92 kilograms or less that's going to be 92 kilograms or all, all the other numbers behind it that's going to be four more that is going to be 200 students so that is what we have so what how do we get the cumulative frequency we ask ourselves how many students in this case the number of students having 29 kilograms or less that's only going to be 16 of them how many students have 80 38 kilograms or less that's going to be 26 and 16 that gives me 32 how many students have 47 kilograms or less that's going to be all those three there which gives me 76 and so on I continue <coughs> now for us to do our cumulative frequency curve we need to get the points so one or let me just quickly take off this one A has been completed or the first one has been completed because we have already filled out the cumulative frequency table right what I need to do is I need to get the points the points is x y right? all points x y where do I get the x and where do I get the y the x is going to be the for 29 here and then the y is going to be the first cumulative frequency which is 16 so it is going to be this one with this one the close bracket the second point is going to be the same thing 38 with 42 so we have 38 with 42 then we have 47 with 76 then we have 56 with 120 then we have 65 with 160 then we have 74 with 184 83 with 196 and then the last one is going to be 92 with 200 and that is what we have right 
so that is what we have so that is where where we need to then move on to the graph watch the second part of this since the second part of this is going to be putting all this information into a curve and then we will be we will be finding three the estimated median right we will be finding the estimated median and then this is by using the curve and then after that we want to do probability well i'll show you probability and everything but we will be doing um the probability or the number so by using the curve we're going to find the number of students the number of students with weight less than 49 we want to find out so we want to find out the number of students with weight more than 78 kilograms and then the last one that we want to find out will be the number of students with weight at least with weight at least 69 let's put it at 69 kilograms so that is what we have so far we have completed one part of, of what we need the second part is going to be by a graph so we want to complete the cumulative frequency curve that is this one here we completed that draw a cumulative frequency curve or ogive that is what we're going to do in our graph sheets then we're going to find the estimated median by using the curve and then we're going to find the number of students with weight less than 59 kilograms now you might be asking so before move on looked at it you might be asking oh but 49 is right in here right so how many students has a weight of less than 49 less than 49 you will say all right maybe it's 120 but notice that this is 44 44 is between 14, 48 to 56 so that means that the amount that I should have and it says less than the amount that I should have should be less than 120 but I don't know what that number is going to be so I will need to use my, cumulat my cumulative frequency curve to get an estimate of how many students have a weight of less than 49 kilograms right so that is what we have please watch the second part of the video so you uh, you know what um you need to do with the graph all right